How does afterburners work? A jet engine produces thrust by accelerating air backwards. Air enters through the intake, gets compressed, mixed with fuel, and burned in the combustion chamber. The hot gases spin the turbines, which power the compressor, and then rush out of the nozzle to create forward thrust. By the time the gases leave the turbines, they're still very hot and still carry oxygen, but you can't burn more fuel in the main chamber without melting the turbines. That's where the afterburner comes in. The afterburner is essentially a second combustion chamber placed directly behind the turbines. Extra fuel is sprayed into the exhaust where it ignites and raises the temperature and volume of the gases to extreme levels. The jet pipe is fitted with a variable nozzle that opens wider when the afterburner is lit, allowing the expanding gases to escape freely. This makes the exhaust shoot out of the nozzle at far higher speed than in normal engine operation, often producing the iconic glowing flame cone you see behind fighter jets. The physics is simple, Newton's third law. By accelerating the exhaust gases to a much higher velocity, the engine pushes the aircraft forward with a much greater force. 